Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake and this is Dude Ranch DIY. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Um, today, I just picked up an old home heating oil tank uh, from a house that was torn down a couple months ago. Um, the guy who I got it from was a friend of a friend, actually Shane, who did all of the excavating and spreading the millings back here. Well, mostly all the spreading. Um, and I got it in the back of the truck, so I got the pallet forks on the tractor. We're gonna unload it, but I'm super excited because it's gonna be great to burn up all the cardboard and little sticks that fall in the yard and kindling and stuff once we start doing the wood splitting. So we're gonna have it back here. It's gonna be great. I'm really excited for that. After I get that unloaded, I got a new little setup that I've shown once briefly in a video, but um, it is related to leaf removal. And I came up with the idea my, on my own and I've been testing it out a few times. It works really good, so I'm excited to show you what I've come up with. Stay tuned. So guys, this is the new leaf removal setup that I've come up with for uh, this new property here that Sarah and I moved into back in the spring. Uh, this is the first year I'm gonna be doing leaves at my own house and on this property. And if any of you guys have been following along with the channel, you probably know that we have a pretty big hill in the front of our property. Uh, actually, the whole house is up on a giant hill, but it flattens out in the back. And um, I was really dreading having to walk up and down that hill with the backpack blower back and forth, back and forth to blow all the leaves to the woods on either side. So I had this push blower. Um, it was actually back in my parents' garage. So I went back, grabbed it, and I was looking at it and I figured, hmm, it would be great to have a PTO driven leaf blower attachment for the back of the tractor. The only issue was the price tag. So then I got to thinking and I saw, you know, uh, that I actually had a, a spare, one of these draw bars that goes on the back of a tractor for, you know, moving hitches or, or for moving trailers around. You can put a ball on it or some shackles for towing. And I got to thinking, I wonder if I attach that to the framework of the blower and then put on another top crossbar piece. And then I could easily hook it up to the quick hitch, the big tool rack quick hitch here. So I did just that, went out to Home Depot, bought four different U-bolts, this crossbar and like i said i already had this uh trailer you know hitch drawbar from tractor supply bolted it up to the framework and bada bing we got a three-point hitch mounted leaf blower for a fraction or hundreds of a fraction of the cost of a you know actual purpose-built pto blower and the best part is i can still take this off without doing anything, changing anything, and push it around, you know, back here in the wood yard or in the driveway if I wanted to use it as a push blower again. So uh, this thing works really well going up and down the hill. I just drive nice and slow back and forth. I actually have been doing it almost every day to try and just keep up with the leaves. Um, so we got some leaves out in the front now that I wasn't able to get to yesterday. So we're gonna fire up the blower and I'll show you how it works. All right, guys, so I'm about to start this up. Um, but as you can see here, I have one of these gear ties. These things are great. I use them for everything. Um, but I have one here because this blower between just the vibrations of the blower and I think not being on the ground on the tires, I noticed that the throttle lever here uh, eventually vibrates back to the slow position. So I have this here uh, just holding on to it. And I just, you know, once I get it going, I take the gear tie 
I just wrap it around this U-bolt here a couple times and it keeps the throttle cable just where it needs to be. So I got the choke on. Let's see if we can get this thing started. It's a little high. I should actually drop it down on the three points. There we go. That'll make it a bit easier. There we go. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. I had a lot of fun making it, uh, but I just wanted to throw out there, if you guys want some Dude Ranch DIY merch, be sure to check out the link in the description down below. It's right at the very top. We got t-shirts, we got hoodies, we got tank tops, tumblers, stickers, you name it, we got it. Check out the link below. Thanks.
Well guys, as you can see, that was pretty easy. I didn't really lift a finger except to pick up my seltzer water there. Uh, the tractor and the blower did all the work. So, um, I mean, this setup is working great for me. There's obviously some kinks that I'd probably like to work out. Uh, I think the biggest downfall is that this blower is only a left discharge, but since it's mounted on the tractor, it's a right discharge, so I can only blow the leaves, you know, when it's facing the right. Um, so that causes a little bit of issue, you know, getting in close around trees and stuff, and then getting close to the road. Um, in the past, I had been going around, you know, when I was testing this out with the backpack blower and kind of doing the perimeter and the edges around the beds and stuff um, to get the leaves out, you know, a tractor length away. Um, today, I did not do that just because there aren't that many leaves that have fallen uh, since yesterday when I did it. But I just wanted to show you this uh, little setup. Another improvement would be um, to take off this front wheel here. I don't know if you can see, but it's a little bit bent. Uh, I kind of kick it back into place. But um, when backing up or like on the hills and stuff, if you're not super vigilant about raising and lowering the three-point hitch, uh, this wheel kind of digs in. So I think a caster, almost like on the front of a walk-behind mower, would work perfect because it would be a bigger diameter. It would kind of spin instead of being fixed in place, you know, left to right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, all in all, it works pretty good. I might tweak it a little bit here and there. Um, but as I'm sure you guys can see, it makes quick work of the leaves, even though this wasn't that that many leaves. We'll have to do an update when, you know, the leaf cover is pretty heavy on the lawn. But uh, the eight horsepower Little Wonder Blower does a pretty good job. this is a pretty good solution uh, at least for me or for anybody out there that has a tractor and might have a push blower sitting out in the garage or in the shed um, you know if you look into these PTO driven leaf blowers debris blowers a lot of the time they're aimed at the large large property owner but mostly what I found is like golf courses and municipalities that are blowing leaves and like parks and really large open areas um, and they're just not really priced for the everyday average Joe consumer that has a tractor, you know, a, a subcompact or a compact tractor. So when I got to looking at that, it really started making the gears start turning and I put to use what I already had. So um, if you're one of those guys out there that has one of these sitting in the garage or in the shed, like I said, um, and you have a tractor, might as well go to the hardware store or Home Depot, you know, and for about $10, $15 worth of parts, you can uh, try and fab it up, you know, and put on these brackets to your blower and see if it works for you. 
It's worked great for me so far. I think it's going to continue to work. Um, I'm definitely going to tweak little things, like I said, maybe putting a front caster wheel on here. Um, but other than that, it works good and it's a cheap alternative and it saves me a lot of energy and time. Um, so that's about going to do it for this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I see in the analytics, you know, of uh, every video that I post. Believe it or not, most of the people, like 90% of the people watching these videos aren't yet subscribed. So if you like it, it's a way to help me out and let me know that you like it. So uh, either give me a big thumbs up or hit that subscribe button. Questions, comments, feedback on this system that I've set up here, put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, but for now, that's it. I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.